Make sure that's recording. Yeah, welcome back to round two. Uh, after a very quick concession from our opponent, round one, we lose the die roll this time round. Never ideal. Um, this is a keeper for sure. Uh, I don't love it, but it's it's fine. Okay. So we have to decide if we want to play our Blood Rage Brawler next turn. It's very sore to run it in something like an Essence Scatter, so that makes me nervous. I think I am more inclined to play out Pathmaker Initiate and, and see if our opponent has the Essence Scatter. I'm going to guess he has. He's clearly thinking about it here. Okay, so he lets that resolve. Okay, that's interesting. He thought about it there for a second, but decided against it. Okay, it could be that our, well, I was going to say it could be that our opponent's colour screwed here, but clearly not. Um, so we definitely have a window now to play out our Blood Rage Brawler. The question is, what would we discard if we're going to do that? Probably the land. I think the land's fine there. We have place for next turn. And we won't trade here. We obviously we, we don't take the trade here if opponent does does have. Okay, please a second heck my sentinels. Okay. Seems pretty good. Pretty good work from our opponent there. Land here would be nice. But an unwavering initiate is absolutely fine. Perhaps we should have played the battlefield scavenger there knowing that we can make it unblockable. It's perhaps a misplay. Especially given that the unwavering initiate can't really swing into the Hecma Sentinels so easily. We perhaps should have swung with the Blood Rage Brawler there, but well, our opponent can double block and I suppose we still eat one. Okay, so our opponent's hit his second colour, he's clearly waiting for. Enigma Drake, okay, well, there's a, a very good deem worthy target down the line. Entirely confident now that our opponent is, uh, is that our opponent is uh, playing cycling cards in his deck. The problem, I mean, we can swing with the Blood Rage Brawler. The problem is, if our opponent has two, then we we look very silly. Of course, we could then cycle the Deem Worthy. Um, so perhaps it's worth it to remove one of these two Hecma Sentinels. I mean, the Enigma Drake could be problematic, of course. I think I want to see what our opponent does here. And if he has the cycling cards in hand, then uh, let's see them. Our opponent, I'm guessing, is going to double block here. Yep. I mean, if he has two cyclers, that is unfortunate, but... Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And we can get rid of... Now, the inference then is that their opponent doesn't have the cycling card, which means cycling deem worthy seems a solid decision here. Of course, if our opponent does have it, then... Yeah, no, I think I'm okay with just playing the Emberhorn Minotaur and holding back the Deem Worthy for the Enigma Drake, which can get out of hand quite quickly. And if our opponent cycles something here, obviously cycling Deem Worthy would be really bad if our opponent does have something in terms of cycling. So I'm going to guess he does. He took a little second there. So he considered it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we made the right decision in not cycling Deem Worthy there. We 
both in miles, sure. Do you want to cycle again? Pathmaker in this year? Sure. Okay. I mean, if we menace up the Emberhorn Minotaur, we can get rid of the Enigma Drake. He has to block with the Enigma Drake. Either we get rid of the Hitmo Sentinels and the Pathmaker Initiate both together. Or we, um, or we kill the Enigma Drake, which I think I'm okay with either way round. I think I'm, I'm happy enough with that. So I think we will just go ahead and exert the Ember Horde Minotaur. The other options, of course, is that we could, uh, if our opponent chooses not to block, we can, uh, or if he blocks with one of them, we can uh, deem worthy away. Okay, so our opponent decides not to do anything there, so that's fine. I think we want to play out our combat celebrant now. Well, it's down to two cards in hand. We have a removal spell for the Enigma Drake, or any other kind of fat creature that our opponent chooses to cast. And Crop Crasher here would be an excellent top deck. That's the top deck we're looking for. This suggests our opponent, or an attack like this suggests our opponent has some removal in hand to deal with the combat celebrant. Uh, so I do not wish to block here. Not with the combat celebrant in play. Absolutely happy to take the four damage there. Knife Cropping Tangler, sure. Yeah, which is what we expected, so that's, I'm not too surprised or disappointed with that. Pursued Glory, what does that do for us here? I mean, we could... We can play Battlefield Scavenger and cycle the Pursue Glory potentially. We could cycle the Demon Worthy to get rid of the Nefcrot Entangler. Imagric is only getting him for two. I think playing the Battlefield Scavenger here. And potentially cycling pursue glory is is fine. Our opponent only has one card in hand. I really would have liked another land here, but such is life. We did get rid of one, so we can't really complain. Only has two cards in hand, one of which he has top decked here. I think. Okay with not 
blocking here. Let's see what our opponent does. Down to nine. What's our opponent casting here? Another Enigma Drake. Wow, okay. Seems reasonable. Cartouche of Zeal. We're on nine. So our opponent has us dead. Well, not necessarily, because we do have a blocker in, in the unwavering initiate. If we make it so the heck with Sentinels can't block. No, we want to make it so the Enigma Drake can't block. Then this is going to trade with probably the Unwaver Energy our opponent's going to take. If we had one more land. Hmm. Uh, if our opponent blocks two here, yeah, that just doesn't, that's not worth consideration, so. I guess we make it so the Enigma Drake can't block. We make it so the Unweaver initiates a 4 3. We make two 1 1s. Yeah, I think that's the correct play. Then I'm pretty sure we win next turn anyway. Okay, our opponent's got something. Winds of Rebuke. Okay. Is that game? It very well might be. The opponent can't swing with this next turn. If he swings with the two, these two, we're going to have to chump it. If we swing with the Ember Horn, he's not going to trade. So we'd have to chump these two. Let's think about how we do this. I guess we get in for six now and surprise our opponent with the start. Block, block. Oh, that you can make that unblockable, of course. So that doesn't work. I think we're just dead, unfortunately. Unless we had another land off the... The scavenger. And then that would be seven, eleven, so that doesn't do it. If our opponent I guess what we have to do here is attack with everything. Make this unblockable, attack with everything, hope that our opponent elects to attack with these rather than making this unblockable because there's nothing to block. That gives us the opportunity to play two one ones and then block and win on the swing back. I think that's the correct play. Okay, so let's do it like that. I think if we had another land we'd be in better shape. We'd probably be a mistake discarding that land earlier, but such is life. So let's Exert. 
to our point this here. If our opponent elects to just attack with everything, um, we can then double block with start. He knows we can't attack. Well, you could, think, you could be thinking about the Jerry's resolve. Uh, and if he does Jerry's resolve, we just lose. We just straight out lose. But then Deem Worthy wouldn't have saved us. Well, I suppose we could have Deem Worthy the path. Well, no, because then if we Deem Worthy that, then. Yeah, we need him to swing with everything here. We need him to just straight out attack. Hoping that's what he does. If not, we lose. Simple as that. We probably made a mistake getting rid of that land there, there, and it's 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 uh, it's cost us this game, unfortunately. Close game though. Really good close game. I'm hoping that what our opponent thinks is that we've got something like um, impeccable timing. That's what I hope our opponent thinks, and he just swings with everything. Yeah, okay. Close game. That doesn't make any difference. Few made a mistake there. Wow. Okay. Well, that makes any difference. That was a mistake. Attacking, attacking creatures. Wow. Okay. Well, that was very, very close to us losing that game just th through idiocy. We need to remember that uh, pursue glory as attacking creatures. It's an instant. Wow. Okay. That was a very close game. Very close game. Uh, start was huge for us there. Wow. Very, very, very pleased that we got away with that. Um, Mighty leap definitely needs to come in here. Um, Maybe we take out the Blood Rage Brawler. I'm not sure if that's correct. Maybe you want both Mighty Leaps, as crazy as that sounds. Take out the Pursue Glory. Take out the Cat. Cat's not going to do much here. But be able to Mighty Leap into the two Enigma Drakes is going to be important. So I think going something like this is going to be better. Wow, that was a super close game. I can't believe that one. That's about as close as these games get. If we put it and made his creature unblockable, but then why would he? We're, we're tapped out. But being able to make two one ones was uh, was very important there. And then we made the mistake with the pursue glory. And uh, if we hadn't even able to um, exert the minotaur, we'd lost anyway. So, wow, close. So let's go into game two. This is, I guess, a keeper. I don't love this hand. Very slow, but we can. This hand does is able to deal with uh, an, uh, an Enigma Drake. So very slow starting hand. Thankfully, our opponent's got a fairly slow starting hand as well. Okay, some red mana would be lovely. Enigma Drake, I'm guessing. Here we go. Oh no, it's Hecma Sentinels. Okay, well, I'd rather see Hecma Sentinels than Enigma Drake, to be honest. Okay, we'll play the Unwavering Initiate. At least now we have an answer for one Enigma Drake. We do need to see some red mana, though. Obviously, we don't block this. Expect a cycle from our opponent. He's not played a land yet, so 
hopefully he's uh, no we hope to use missing land drops but that was a, a touch optimistic we could compulsory rest the naga oracle is that something we'd want to do it's not the thing is our opponent we have to we have to expect that our opponent is going to um play um he discarded it uh he put a path maker issue and winds of rebuke okay hmm we have to presume that our opponent is uh is going to play but then we can deal with that as well. We can deal with the end of Drake. So let's do that. And punish our opponent for discarding Winds of Rebuke and get in for two. And pass. Yeah, for three, sorry. That might be a mistake. I'm not sure. Obviously we don't block again if our opponent swings. We will take it on the chin. Red mana here would be nice. Opponent Misty's land drop. It's looking that way. Enigma drink. Sure. Okay. So I don't see any reason not to swing here. Okay, that is a blowout of quite epic proportions. Okay, well, such is life. We will continue on our merry path. Yeah, it's a big blowout. That one hurts a lot. Uh, I still think it was the right play, um, but uh, that Magma Spray is huge for our opponent. He's basically two for one dust there, uh, unfortunately. But they can't hit the mag. They can't hit the celebrant with it. He already knew we had the celebrant, so there was no reason to really hold it back there. He, he uh, okay. So our opponent's cycling. He's looking for lands. I mean, this is a you know this is a race we're that we're we're still okay about. If our opponent plays another Enigma Drake here, then that would be upsetting. Illusionary Rapid, sure. Okay, so we could play... We can only play one of our red cards this turn, so I think putting the one that puts the most pressure on the board is the is the correct shout. So there's no point in playing the planes here because none of our cards cost that much, and I think it's more important that. Uh, and and the thing is, we can still do the trick with combat celebrant. It's it's still um, it can still exert to untap, so we can still get fun shenanigans. I hope our opponent realizes. Well, I hope our opponent doesn't realize that. We can still attack with it, so we can still get the exert shenanigans going on, um, allowing the Ember Horde Minotaur to um, to attack for ten basically in one turn, which is pretty huge. We are on a clock here, unfortunately. Just the mm, okay, well. We can't block. Not yet, anyway. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have to expect that. So I think we're... Mm, Deem worthy saves us, something like that. Okay, another Egg with Drake. Okay, I think that's going to be game here. Yep, yeah. on to game three. 
annoying, but such is life. Our hand's fairly slow. Do I have anything else that we can kind of use to get rid of? I don't think we do. Oh, we could play. Well, Gideon's intervention would be not terrible. Naming Enigma Drake. Maybe we just play that. Does that seem reasonable? I think I want to try it. Let's get rid of like brute strength. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Yeah, we can we can do something with this for sure. We've got a, a nice carpet here. That's a good sign, because our opponent, but he's running all these heck with sentinels and things like that. That that kind of infer, you know, you, you kind of want to be saving those for pumping up your heck with sentinels. So that kind of implies that um, our opponent doesn't have anything of that uh, elk. Sure. So we could play. Stop that from blocking this turn. Did we not exert there? I meant to exert. Well. Maybe that's actually better that we didn't. We're going to get in for 11 next turn if our opponent doesn't play a creature. Our opponent probably exerts. Yeah, that's fine. Great blower. If he wants to swing with his block with his Nigma Drake, um, he has to double block here, so he takes it unsurprisingly. Play Combat Celebrant. And pass. And next time we play Ancrop Crasher, and I think win. Almost like it doesn't matter where our opponent plays next turn, really. Heck, my sentinels we wouldn't be too worried about. Or fire javelin near, sure. Killing, oh, kills the celebrant. Oh, wow, okay. Seems good. Can't argue with that. Seems reasonable. Hmm, okay. Maybe that changes our plan somewhat then. I mean, if he can now double block with these two to kill the Blood Rage Blower, so perhaps we just play out the Minotaur and hold off a turn. Hopefully, we really want our opponent to start attacking, that's what we really want to do. Get that Enigma Drake going. You know, we have the ground locked up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Okay, 
so we can't cast that obviously. Um, so I think, okay, we have to presume our opponent has a cycling card in hand, um, unfortunately. So I think we play Ancrop Crasher, stop the Enigma Drake from blocking. And swing with the other guys. I think we just swing with the team here. I think we can afford to get aggressive. from blocking. I have to presume our opponent has a cycler here unfortunately, but I still think this is the correct attack. what we expected. So our opponent's got a cycler obviously so he can he can uh, trade off with the uh, just what we expected so that's okay. These two trade our opponent yeah of course. Opponent takes nine goes to four but we have then you know we can't attack with the uh, you know, we, we can still pressure our opponent. If we swing with the Blood Rage Blower next turn, he has to deal with it. He's putting something else in Naga Oracle, sure. So he's, 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 he's building up a ground defense, so that's good for our opponent. That Warfly Javelin here killing the Combat Celebrant was, uh, was huge for our opponent. Very strong play. Okay, so our opponent still has a... You've got to presume by playing that land, our opponent still has a cycling card in hand. But then again, I think we're okay with trading the Blood Rage Blower for that in that case. Sure. Wow, we cycled. Wow, okay. That's very strange to me for our opponent to do that. I don't really understand that at all. That was a mistake, in my opinion. So we are going to... Swing with the brawler. I think we want to do it in that order, actually. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Naming Drake.
Okay, yeah. Reasonable. You can still get it for one. I'm not sure if our opponent realizes that, but. Of course, if we're going to flood out now, that's not ideal. need to see some creatures here or something yeah not much we can do about that oh this would be a sore game to lose my opponent's deck is sweet very good Magma spray. Okay, well. Guess we just do this now. opponent has winds of rebook here which we have to presume sure because we need to block that obviously yeah oh well uh, that was a good try our opponent's deck was sweet so we will move on to round three and see how we get on there <laughs> 